Welcome to the live cast. Um, the drink is back. We decided to do uh, a cocktail tonight and we're making a Long Island iced tea. I have to ask a question first. I don't actually hear myself, Lynn. You don't hear yourself. I don't hear myself. Is that because... Do you hear me? I'm just... Sorry? Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you because you're yelling. Okay, oh, got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for that awkwardness. I just wanted to make sure. All right, so we're making a Long Island iced tea. It's so good. It's like not even drinking until tomorrow. Then it will be like you've been drinking. <laughs> so here's what it is. It's four alcohol. Four uh, alcohol? Four alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> four different types. Wow, I haven't even had one yet. What is four, with you? Four different types of alcohol. Tequila. Okay, really? Okay, equal amounts. Uh, vodka. It's probably pretty tough to make a cocktail in one glass. Gin. Rum. Wow. Okay, I know it looks like that. There's probably only a couple ounces there, I hope. Maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, now sweet and sour gives it the sweet part. Uh, and we'll go this much. And what gives it the color is a little Coke. Watch this. So weird. Oh my God, what are you having? I'm having iced tea. You're kidding, can I have some? Sure. Give me a second, let me throw some ice in it for you. <laughs> All right. That would be really kind of you. That looks oh, good. Oh, I got too much liquid. Hold on. <laughs> wow. And then watch. Somebody, here's what I wanted. I wanted the beautiful, perfect piece of lemon. Like this. To go down the side. Shoot. <laughs> Any excuse to drink. Mm -mm. I just wanted to look pretty in there. Okay, now we can start the live cast. Okay, it's been a while since we've done this. I was gonna say, to those that don't remember, we, we used, used to do to this do in the beginning. A lot, and we haven't done it in a hundred and something episodes. Wow, really? That many? May maybe. I it's been a long time. But it's brought back by popular demand. Brought back by you guys asking for this to come back, and we're okay with that. We want to do what you want us to do. So and you know what? We're gonna rehearse that a little more later. <laughs> we are. Damn it. Well, I need to rehearse. I got to do like five, six things at once here. Well, you, and you just gotcha. like purposely decided that you were just gonna stay in the kitchen for longer. <laughs> no, I it, look at it, it's clean as you go. Now look what we got. Yeah. Now when I go over there later to make the chicken thing, I don't have to worry about having to clean it. This is this is true. I can't leave a messy kitchen. I can't leave a messy kitchen. I can't leave a messy kitchen. I know, kitchen. even if you're going to delay, <laughs> exactly. delay the show. Like, maybe you well, the show kept the going. I don't think technically point. I actually delayed anything. The show was going. And I just wasn't sitting here talking. What? Can we just cover this, though? Yes. Okay, for the record, Lynn, was there anything wrong with his mic at the beginning of the show? With his mic? My, no. no, my FB. Right, it was your IFB. It my was FB is fucked. Yeah. So the, shoot, the show would have gone smoothly at mm -hmm. the beginning. But here's the thing. I, I get worried if I don't hear myself. Right, but they'll tell us. Yeah, I know, but I didn't would... want to wait. until <laughs> I was, didn't want them to now go, oh, we don't know anything that he's done. So, Jane. You know, I saw, I saw Forrest Gump. <laughs> Jane. Remember that? Where did that come from? Jane. I saw, I saw that the other day. <laughs> came from left That's field. my favorite movie. Remember how good that movie is? Favorite movie of all time. Yeah, it's really, really good. God. Unless you've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> I think I, have I haven't seen, seen it. I haven't seen it for a very long time. <laughs> Gump, what's your what's your sole purpose in the army? To do whatever the sergeant says. <laughs> Jane. That was a I'm gonna say that's probably one of your worst. That was a terrible. <laughs> Jane, can I see your breasts, Jane? <laughs> that was a good movie. 
Jenny, is that not good? No, I won't, do it, going for the I won't do it again. Going for the Jenny thing. I won't do it again. Repetition. I feel like it's getting. It's getting better for. Let me finish my drink, and then it'll be excellent. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see. Let's dive into the things that we missed. Last we have a lot of stuff Monday. to talk about, and we have Art Pavino too. I'm gonna just force you into back. it. I'm force me into. Force it. Can I just say? Let's just start with this. Yes. We're in San Diego. We would be remiss if we didn't mention the fact that ex Charger Junior Sale mm -hmm. committed suicide oh, today. Sadly, so sad. So sad. Yeah, Very sad problem. day for San Diego. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you know, I was talking to a guy in the supermarket, and he said, "You know what? Um, seemingly had everything." Yeah. Yeah. And I really. said, you know what? You just, you never know what's in someone's head. Yeah. You don't. I have a brother who committed suicide two years ago. Yeah. And uh, you just, you just can't, you can't know what, what someone's going through. Yeah. There have been signs. Yeah. I mean, things have, the, he drove the, his car off I a cliff know, in Carlsbad, which yeah. is like 10 minutes up the road. Well, no one really knows. What happened there? Yeah, he said but, he didn't. Yeah, but, right. right. I know. I, I agree. But yeah. you have to say, in retrospect, what I find what, a lot of the time is that if it, I mean, it's that saying, it's so cliche that if it smells like shit, it tastes like shit, it is shit or something. The other option would be if it looks like a duck there you and go. walks like a duck, <laughs> there you go. That's a, it's a duck. Well, uh -huh. what really broke my heart was uh, hearing his mom today. I don't know if oh, you heard God, that. Oh, God, I heard that. No. Oh, I know. It was I terrible. Yeah. What'd she say? Oh, it was just... She was just... She was, she she was, she was inconsolable. Inconsolable. I, why so. would they put someone who just committed suicide's mother, mother yeah. in front of TV I mics and cameras that's a, I mean that's a couple hours after it happens well and then the sister got on and said oh you know, I didn't I know see what that. the media is gonna do you guys are gonna try to twist this or blah 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 mm -hmm. and they already are I listened to the news station right after I heard that bike yeah. and a half hour later they're already twisting it into like oh, potentially his girlfriend killed him because there was a a wound to the chest and yeah. the mom apparently you know has broken english but said something like why did you do this to him meaning i, who, don't know, no, I think she was talking who, to God would, who would do this to him that thing that's right, what i remember that's the, yes. it's just a terrible terrible thing mm -hmm. yeah it's horrible. you know what kelly said and we were we were talking about sort of part of this earlier he has he has children and yep. uh one of his sons is, is zach's age they played football together oh no and Kelly said, I hope that they got to him before the media did. I don't see. I don't know. Jeez. I don't think that's. Uh, Lynn, what did you say when you came in about Twitter? I walked into work and I heard Junior say I was dead. So the first thing I do is pull up CNN, ESPN, mm -hmm. San Diego, you know, Silent San Diego, nothing. Pull up Twitter. There's like already about a thousand tweets <sighs> about his death. So how fast does that make its way around? Right. And is it likely that, that young say I would have heard this I mean yeah. if everybody has mobile phones I mean if, yeah. if that's that's the way you find out um I highly yeah, that's an interesting I, point I yeah I d I highly doubt that he was that he found out on his own accord I bet he found out through some various yeah outlet I think so yeah. too and that's so <sighs> terrible mm -hmm. I, I think about the crease it's like if, well, if for just, any news just, for any just, news company to not go directly to junior sales house you're you're giving up to your competition basically so they all have to do it and i mean it's terrible but they right. all end up right in front and of you them. can't go like you can't go like this as a news organization we want to respect what's going exactly, on at that house so we're not going to go because it. because we know what sells newspapers and mm -hmm. and magazines and tv yeah it and it leads it leads That's right and unfortunately <laughs> sticking a microphone in a grieving mother's face is what's going to sell steve ratings. said if it bleeds it leads on tomorrow night's live cast, we cut Steve right at the top of the show. <laughs> oh, right, you right. Already hit him once, man. Right in your cheek. I didn't hit. Oh, oh I remember when you I smacked him? him. You hit him hard, man. Like my dad, who by the way passed away. If you want to make an issue oh, out of this, fine. I'm, you can I'm bring just that saying up. we have a recording. It's a pretty hard. Smack. No, that was actually an example of your school teacher hitting oh, yes, him. No, right. no, no. That was my dad going. Hey, oh, was what was it? that for? In case you do something later and I'm not around. Oh, that's yeah. what that's that was. Right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, On great. a lighter note, I have a question for you. Yes, Dan. for me. Would you, yes for you. Yes. Would you ever wear that pop of color that Steve's got on? Yeah. Well, it's red. 
Oh, it looks red. It yeah, looks yeah, I know it looks pink. pink. From here, oh no, no, I'm completely comfortable. I had a pink uh, no, would tennis you? shirt I don't a few think years you ago. Would. No, I would wear red. I guess it does look a little pink, doesn't it? It looks a little pink in the monitor, but that, did we did we I've talk never about seen this? You wear a colored shirt like that. I, I have only ever been on one audition. Did mm-hmm. we talk about this? Yeah, we did. The in New York. Freaked out. Your, your, your I freaked home? out and I completely had complete flop sweat and it was terrible. <laughs> Dry mouth the whole thing. <laughs> but I got to, I took the red eye to New York and I had a few hours to kill and I walked around doing nothing. I bought a bright orange shirt mm-hmm. <laughs> to wear to the audition. And yeah. orange was, how, however many years ago this was. It was the new block. A bunch. It was the color of the moment. <laughs> still and I bought shirt. it. No. Never? no. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It was oh, like 2003 or four. And I came back with the shirt. And Kelly basically said, oh, the shirt is the reason you didn't get the job. <laughs> uh, I was trying to make you feel no. better. I don't remember orange ever being. Uh, I don't know. Orange was way. just just back recently, was it not? Are you reading women magazines again? I know. Again? It's salmon. No. It's the color salmon, salmon. color is back. Salmon's back? Okay. <laughs> Wait, where were we? Color. Wait. Coral, we were, we were in Vancouver for my father's funeral. Mm-hmm. In Zara. Which Canadian Zara somehow seems a little more legit to me than American Zara. I don't yeah. know why. Maybe just because I'm Canadian. Wait, not, Zara it's not a Canadian a company. <laughs> but it's not a Canadian company. Zara is just clothing? Yeah. Department store type deal? Mm, it's like a Banana Republic kind of thing. Got it. Right, Spanish. Okay. So and I, I like their clothes. And so we were walking around Zara and the pants in there, orange pants, Kel. Like, yeah. you know, like those, what, what are the, what do you call those? Like white. Uh, and you wanted to buy them. I wanted to buy them. And Kelly, <laughs> okay, mom Steve? would not let me buy orange pants. Right. He wanted, and wait, they were all like rolled up and cuffed up like mid shin. Like he Just was going to buy those and wear them. I'm yeah. like, honey, I go, oh, I, you know what? I don't have a problem with some people wearing those, but you just i feel so bad you just look missed look the boat <laughs> rolling eyes i love having him on camera while you talk about him like he's not there it's bullshit they, I, why they can't cater I, to all walks of life and i go this like this something you have to remember i go wait a minute yeah. i see guys my age who where orange fans who? are they on the oh. side are they on the side of the road steven tyler <laughs> I don't know. I I'm just the only one that keeps my. I don't know, but why can't I? See, you go like this. You could never wear that. I put a hat on. Kelly goes, take that hat off. You can't wear it. <laughs> my sister-in-law bought me like a like a. What are those hats? What a was fedora. that? A fedora. A fedora. When we were in Whistler, uh, see, a couple winters ago. Yeah. yeah. And she goes, Sammy, it looks so good on you, and I loved it, and I wore it. Kelly intentionally <laughs> left it in Vancouver, in Vancouver, so I couldn't bring it back because she hated on me. I go, here's the thing. Nobody knows that I don't look good in a hat like you think I don't look good in a hat. If I just started wearing a hat and went to Seattle, people would go, oh, there's a guy in a hat. It's a fedora they guy. wouldn't go, oh, he looks shitty in a hat. You think I look bad in a hat. Oh, I don't, Sam. It's I just want to be cooler in my clothes, and I can't. <laughs> and all you ever want is this. You want me in a V-neck sweater with a t-shirt underneath? You go, that's your look. That's Just your wear outfit. that. And not your pop of color shoes. Fuck, I want a little pop of color. <laughs> this is Does he have the pop of color right now? He's got ever. the pop. He's got the pop. Uh, there <laughs> they are. Thank you very much. This you let me get away with because I forced this. I won't deter myself from wearing these because you're mean at me. God. 26 years. How many years? 27? Yeah, I want to know more about all the, little, tomorrow. the little thing that Max and Blakey have going on together. Oh, gosh. Maxie and Blake. What Maxie do Blake. me and Blake have going on together? You put a little smiley face on the oh, memo okay. line of your check. I <laughs> Can I say something? Wait, I got, a, I got a text from a guy today. Let me show you this. Hold on. Hold on. And, and I, you know, I wonder about this. Here, here's Jeff's text. Uh, there's nothing bad that you can see here. Look, look at the last thing I got. <laughs> Four smiley faces. No, they're not even smiley Those are faces. Winkies. What smiley are those? Are they winkies? Yeah, look they're at them. They're winkies with the tongue out. He calls them winkies. Winkies, winkies with the tongue out? Yeah, they're winkies. Steve knew it was winkies with the tongue out. <laughs> oh, gosh. So yeah, anyway, sorry. he was making a joke. I was on uh, KUSI this morning for Mama's Kitchen event that comes up. Mm-hmm. Uh, May 11th, a week, a Friday. We'll talk about that. And um, he made a joke about something. I called him smart ass, and he gave me four of those. And I thought, do I use a little smiley face thing? I don't use an emoticon. Uh-huh. I might use a smiley face. I don't. 
But Wait, I got I, I got from Smiley. Vincent Jackson of the San. That's my yeah. thing. Used to be at the San Diego where churches. Is where is he? Tampa. 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 He was at Tampa. No. He's at Tampa. Vincent Jackson, six his... five, two hundred and thirty pounds. He is a man's man. Yeah. We were texting one day, and I got a smiley face from him. I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> Vincent Jackson smiley faced me. Awesome. I'm in, but it also means that me being a much lesser man than him, I can totally use it. Nobody will question it. <laughs> But Jeff gave me four winky grim what grimace looks. What was it? Winky, winky with, the, with tongue. the tongue out. Winky with the tongue. I don't know. Oh wait, suddenly that's creepy. It is a little the creepy. The tongue out. Winky with the tongue. Do you ever use a smiley face? Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know what Steve does? What? Steve overuses the exclamation point. I do in everything. <laughs> everything. Because it makes him sound so excited. And he, no, no, no. And you know when he does it? He uses it when he's talking to people above him in the organization. Yes. It's basically his way of kissing their ass. Yep. Oh, That's man. My ass hey, kissing. thanks a lot. Boom. Wait, why are we revealing this? On <laughs> the Hope show? we get to do this soon. Wait, yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah well, if you said memo. thanks a lot and you put a period on it, what does that I look know, like? Thanks, thanks a lot. lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Listen to how I say thanks this. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks boom. <laughs> Smiley face. Looking forward to seeing you. Boom. <laughs> See, okay, Hope we get to do this. Boom. Can't wait. Boom. When you're below 18 years old, a smiley face is a great way of flirting with a girl through a text. Oh, wait, That's I would argue that Jeff Roberto's a winky, with <laughs> winky with the creepy yeah, tongue out is on a whole other level now. Yeah, when I was a kid, there. when I was a kid, it was just the colon parenthesis. Now it's like a whole. You do. Uh, you can have conversations through emoji emoji cons. They call them. They call them emoticons. Emoticons. Mm -hmm. but there's emoticons. a no. There's a set. They're called emoji cons. That's like those are the Japanese, ones in Japan. Yeah, but you emoji get them cons. On your iPhone. <laughs> okay, but I have a question. I've often wondered this. Uh -huh. If I send one of those goofy smiley faces to somebody that doesn't have that those downloaded as an you app, get a J. It doesn't work. Yeah, you get a J. It comes oh, out as a J. I was gonna say, I wonder what they get. They get a it's J. A J every I get time? that. I get a J yeah. from Maria all the time. Because yeah. oh. I don't have whatever. She, has a she uses the emoticon. That's why I use the colon with the parentheses, yeah. half parentheses. You yeah. never do smiley faces. I do a little bit, you but rarely. Hey. You're, you're never joyful. Angry. You're never <laughs> smiling. <face. laughs> There's no smiley face. He does the greater than there. colon. <laughs> I am less than colon. Yeah. Well, I think you've called than... me a douchebag in emails more than you've ever used. <laughs> no, I have called you a douchebag in a lot of emails. That's for sure. Hey, we got someone on the line. You ready? Who we got? Wait a second. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time since he's been here. Where has he been? You know where he's been? He hates he's us. been in his house with his shitty internet. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, for him to talk to us, it's now 918 in New York. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's gotta stay a long time. And of course the New Yorkers work long, hard days. Sure. Uh -huh. Right? But he likes to go home to his lovely wife Angie. Let's bring him in. <laughs> where is he? Ladies and gentlemen. Where is he? Say his name. Arthur Bovino hey. from the Daily Meal. There he is. <laughs> yeah. But wait a second. Arthur, how are you? Good. Yeah, how's it going? Where's the beard? No, uh-oh. We got a He's major got a lag. Cut. Why do we have such a major lag with Arthur? Okay. Do we? Uh, Art, say something. Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh there is a lag. <laughs> oh, oh, no. shit. I don't know if I can do this. He hung up on me. Thanks. Oh, he did. Is he going to try again? Yeah, we're going to try again. Okay. While well, we're waiting for this, so check this out. So June 4th, uh, I will be on the Today Show. Yeah. Nice. I think it's lucky number 13. Dude. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's actually exciting. interesting that you say that, Dad, because today um, I was listening to something that was talking about how a second date, being asked back to something, is the, one of the most sincerest forms of flattery. Think about if you, on a, if you go out on a date with somebody right. and they, they want to go on a second one, that means that you obviously did something right. That means you were like accepted. Yes. Okay, let's see. So they've, I've been accepted 13 times. Yep, here's Art. Here we go. Can we, can we, are we good now? Art, say something. Can you hear me? Something. Oh, oh it's, still bad. It's, it's effed up. Why are we lagging so bad? I feel really bad. Office. Can we kill his face and just hear? I, I don't, it's going to be rough for people to watch him mouth things that the words don't come out for mm -hmm. they don't come out in sync can we just talk to him sure can we try that do you have a picture of him Dude, let's try yeah, and, we'll get one. try and get a picture of him. arthur yeah sam nice to hear you my friend i, I don't know what's going on it just worked two minutes ago didn't it 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, it did. It worked well with when you were chatting with Lynn before the show. I apologize for that. And we'll try and figure this out. I don't know. But I don't want to lose you. You've stayed late for us, and I want to talk, and we've missed having you here. How is New York, my friend? New York as well. How's San Diego? I hear the sad news this afternoon on your show. I didn't know that uh, that happened with, with Junior Seau. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad here, and it's sad for the Patriots, too, because he was there. And, and, and Miami. Uh, oh, and Miami. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Miami first, and then... But it's, uh, uh, sadly, it's just part of life, you know? It shouldn't be part of life, unfortunately. You know, here's the thing. I don't want to get sad and dwell on this, but my brother took his own life uh, slightly more than two years ago. Yeah. And when it happened, in fact, I was with Steve. I got the phone call when I was with Steve in Steve's office. Yeah. And um, the, the month after it happened, as people would talk to me and... and they would find out what came out was how common suicide is. Oh, well. It's not right. That picture goes up <laughs> as I'm talking picture. about suicide. Oh, wow. Yeah, my bad. Wow. <laughs> that was terrible. But it is. You know what? I know so many people whose families have been touched by suicide. It is not this, this uncommon, rarely happens thing. Sure. It happens a lot. Yeah. Anyway, we don't, let's not talk about that anymore. Arthur? I like the, I like the Instagram photo up in the upper right-hand corner. Yeah, of the so do we, my friend. Hey, so we confirmed the Today Show. It's, I, I'm going to be there June 4th. We were just right. talking about that. So we're hoping, get this, Arthur is going to be on, uh, when I go to New York for the Today Show, we're also going to shoot a half hour for the Cooking Guy Show in New York oh, and wow. a half hour in Boston. Oh, nice. Now that'll and, be fun. And Arthur is going to be our guide to food in New York City. Where are we going, Sam? Where, what's well, going? that's going to be up to <laughs> you and me. We'll have that conversation this coming week. We'll start to figure that stuff out. You know what's interesting? Um, recently, Wiley Dufresne, who is uh, probably the, the standard bearer in New York City for what's known as modern cuisine, WD50. has decided, right. has decided to uh, completely revamp his menu. Oh, here we go. Let me guess. So, He's redoing what? Uh, uh, wait. wait. No, what? he's not redoing what Grant Atkins is doing. In thank Chicago. you, thank you, thank you. But that was good. That was that was that was very cool. Very very relevant. Right. Very albuli and and uh, Grant Atkins. It, that was pretty uh, meta. I gotta say. There you go. What's so he gonna do? Gonna, he's gonna do tasting menus, and he's gonna take off all of the items that are on his menu that. Everybody knows him very well for it's really funny because when you think about modernist cuisine and experimenting with you know different uh, um, you know substances to make foods do things that they don't normally do, that a place that was is doing that has actually done the same dishes for such a long time. Right. I mean, you'd think that he'd be continuing to do new things, but the not to say that he you know he's done anything wrong, but I mean you you got to stay relevant in a way, and once those dishes become you know, you become known for them. People are going to want to come to the restaurant to have them, but at the same time, you're kind of pigeonholed into them. So it's interesting that he's decided to revamp the whole thing. That's one thing that's going on recently. That's interesting. What else? Tell me, uh, tell me what, uh, I feel like we got to do Shake Shack when I'm there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know why you have to do it? Because they've introduced a oh. new burger. What? A what? A new burger? A new burger, huh? No a way. A bacon cheeseburger. Oh. They don't have it? Wait. They did not have the bacon cheeseburger before, oh. but they do now. They've got a cherry pepper relish on it and how with, it, the, with the bacon. And how is it? It's really good. I had it down in South Beach where they were uh, they rolled it out first for the burger bash, and then uh, they recently put it on the menu up here. So. Uh, wait, who won the burger bash? I uh, thought it th – I'm – Drawing a blank, I think it was Mike Simon. W that was yeah. was that his second time? Life, the third time. Third time. So at the um, at the Food Network, um, the hell is that stupid thing called? The, what's the thing in Miami called? South Beach Food and Wine. Oh, Festival? South Beach Food and Wine Festival. It's this giant Food, ne food Network, food network food thing, right? So they have a thing called the Burger Bash, and and a bunch of people compete for best burger. Is that the Shake Shack oh, burger? That looks good. What kind of that's bacon, it. What kind of bacon do they use on that? 
Uh, Some pretty thick cut bacon. It's probably Applewood. I can't remember. Uh, looks unreal. I feel like they got to go beyond <laughs> Applewood. Applewood seems like it's the standard now. Right. Nothing and somebody's got to come up with something better than that. Somebody's got to come up with like a pork belly bacon. Mm. Well, that in fact, fuck it. No bacon, just thick strips of wait, wait, pork wait, belly on you, there. Fuck it. Pardon? Did you just say fuck it? I said fuck it. <laughs> Are we back? Are we back live? No, we're back. Yeah, yeah, we're back. You know what? I'm not back quite as bad as I was before. I'm trying to be more conscientious because if I don't, Kelly kicks me in the ass after the show. She goes, oh, it was gross. You're too much. But yeah, I got to be me. I got to be me. I got to be me. Who sang that song? I don't know. Not you. you not me. <laughs> I just did. I did it well, too. Now I want Shake Shack. Oh, I know. Oh. This is killing me. You got you to do it. So we got, we're, we're going to get the bacon burger. Maybe we even go to WD-50. That one we probably want to make a reservation for. Ahead of hey, time. I have a right. question. Do we, have, do we need a filming permit for On the Streets in New York? Do you have any idea? Uh, I haven't gotten one before. <laughs> I mean, my guess is going to be no. I mean, no. how many thousands of, you know, they're going to stop three people with a camera? It depends. You can't be on like a private property. No. Which technically, like if you're in the sidewalk in front of a right. big building, yeah. you're on their property. Oh, so it just depends on where you are. If we're quick and stuff. And then restaurants are going to be fine and stuff. Yeah. All right. It'd be so interesting. All right. We got to do something in here. We got to do some Sam the Cooking Guy video at the Daily Meal. I want to have a Sam the Cooking Guy interview on our homepage. Well, by the way, you used to be just a regular schmo at the Daily Meal. Is that correct? A regular schmo. What were you? What were you before? Editor. I was, I was the eat, the editor of the Eat Dine channel, and then I was promoted to senior editor. And now I'm being promoted to executive editor. Really? Yeah. Executive editor wow. of everything? Well, so Coleman Andrews is the editorial director. He's the, the highest position at the site. But Are you uh, number two? I, I'm number two. Hey, wow. are, are, are you guys owned by the Daily Beast? No. We are owned by Jim Spanfeller, Spanfeller Media, formerly of Forbes.com. Mm. And, wow. and whose ass did you have to kiss to get that? <laughs> you got two promotions since you were gone? This is crazy. Yeah, you know what? You should be off of the live cast more often, my friend. <laughs> Steve is asking you how. That's really what he's asking you. <laughs> yes. Are you we, looking to get promoted yes. at this live cast? Sam, I think you're looking no, to not the live <laughs> look at Look at the smirk on him in that picture. Uh, yeah, we got to turn the grill on. Arthur, what is that? We do. Arthur, what is that in your, what is that in your hand in that picture? Nice. Here's the irony of that photo. You know what burger that is? What? In and out. In and out. That's what it's all about. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it look at the wrapper. Oh, it is. Shut yeah. the. You look like you're enjoying it. I, no, but I look as Sam well knows. <laughs> no, I know. Right, as I Arthur know said, right? In and Out Burger. Yes, he appreciates know, a good In and Out Burger. Yeah. I just know which burger's better. Yes. Oh, gosh, I do whatever. too. I agree. As do as do Steve and I. <laughs> whatever. I've had both. So is is everybody coming out? That's what I want. I want no. to know that. Who's actually, out? actually, nobody that you know is coming we out. Wish. <laughs> I wish. Sorry, a I'm different, different set of people. I haven't been invited, but I'm, I'm going to try. Oh, do you want to come, Mom? You and me I'd will like go. I'd like to go. You would? I haven't actually been invited. So. You're welcome to come. All right. Uh oh. You going right. to be there in July? Yeah. All right, dude. I'll hit you up. What are you doing there in July? It's a secret, man. It's a secret. No, some have secret you, Asian society thing you're going to. Have you put in a request for your time to? off? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I have you actually. put in your request for I haven't, your time because off? Because we haven't, we haven't <laughs> finalized everything. But. Do you know what we found out tonight? We found out tonight that uh, Lin's father, Lin's Chinese father, poses as a Japanese person <laughs> he taking okay. tours to Japan. I think you, you got to put some context wrong. in this. <laughs> it is ethnically wrong, you as put Steve some just said. in this, okay? Wow, you're a bad person, Lin. That's what Sam Jeez. insinuated. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, my dad runs, he, he helps with a touring company, he takes tours to Japan from... United States. And he changed his last name for the tours from Chi to Yakamoto. <laughs> Is that true? Dude, where do you get your lies, man? <laughs> They're really creative, but where did you get them? All right, wait. Is Arthur still there? Yeah, he's still yeah. there. Arthur, uh, we've had too much fun with it's you tonight, it's but it's been short. Time. So welcome, welcome back, my friend. Thanks for having me, we Sam. Hope to We hope to make this... I don't know. Get the get the daily meal to pay for fat internet and in where you live. Then you can just post up on the sofa, 
or at the kitchen table, have Angela, you know. Speaking of which, can I do a shout out here? Yes. Of course. To introduce the, the Angela Moore, the internet sensation. She's now online. I sent you the link. If you're interested in her new project, it's Grammar Sims. And it's all of these food, mostly food and menu and restaurant sign and uh, grammar sins that uh, you'll see around New York City, but pretty much anywhere we go. So grammar sins, I love that. Yeah, she posts daily. She's been doing it now for uh, 49 days. Very proud, and uh, it's pretty funny. So you should check it out. Awesome. Nice. So tell us what tell us the basis of it is. Grammatical basis mistakes is, in public. Yeah, I mean, just embarrassing. You know, it's it's with an apostrophe the wrong way or just, you know, ridiculous, just ridiculous things on menus. So you'll go into a place and you'll see a I love that. cocktail or whatever else. But you should check it out. OK, so here's here's Tell a little... her to stay away from Sam's cookbook. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, my cookbooks are filled with horrible shit. Wait, here's a little fun idea for her. And it's not really fair because it's another country and the translation thing doesn't really happen properly. Right. But. I've seen signs when we were in uh, Tokyo that were just ridiculous hell holes of grammar. Yeah. <laughs> they try it, to take an idea. Sunshine, you know, right. sunshiny day with a cherry on top optical company. Like, exactly. You know. That's exactly right. Maybe she could do that one, you know, one week. Foreign grammar the, sins. The, the, we could definitely do that. You see that her profile photo, she doesn't just document them though. She'll take her Sharpie and yeah. correct them out there. So she, she does not. Fried Oreos with an apostrophe, she crosses off the apostrophe. I'm about to ready to run away and she's there, you know, circling it and crossing it out. Wait, I'm trying to I'm trying to make that picture of her with the fried Oreos blow up. I can't get any bigger. Uh, why can't know. we? Is she not showing her face intentionally? <laughs> I took the photo when she was making the correction, and then I ran away. So. She doesn't want people see her coming towards their tangerine signs, I'll be like, and oh, grabbing them, grammar. grabbing them before she can correct them. Is that right? <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> All right, Arthur Bavino, the number two man at the Daily Meal. You still write and stuff, right? You're not just like hanging out, ordering people around anymore, wearing a suit now, right? No, I just I just put up a piece uh, yesterday about the best best brisket in America. So you can go check that one out. Oh, where is it? I think we talked about it before. It's at Franklin Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Oh, it's Texas. that place. Yeah. You haven't had my mom's brisket, which is a whole different thing because it's done in the oven and it's braised. Whatever. I don't want to. Did you get turn it the today. grill on? Oh shoot! I'm yes. gonna turn the grill on right now. It's gonna be fine. All right, Arthur. Love you, man. Uh, we'll talk this coming week about what we're gonna do when I'm in New York with you. All right. Great. Say hi to Angela. I will do. Tell her to stay guys. away from my cookbook. There's a lot of grammar mistakes in there. <laughs> See you, man. Later Be good. On. Arthur Pavino, ladies and gentlemen, just let me stand up for one second before we hit the actual cooking segment of the show. Well, come on, here. Steve. Come on here. You just see how beautiful it is outside. Yeah. We actually had a cloudy no, day, don't, but don't it show looks... the house. No, I'm just just the, the backyard place. and everything. It's really oh. nice. I've got a great I, barbecue. I told you to do this 10 minutes ago. Your mom wanted me to do it 10 minutes ago. I told you 10 minutes. Use a match. No, no, no. It's not that kind. Use a match. <laughs> now we got to wait for... No, you don't worry you about it. Man. By the time I prepare the chicken... It's going <laughs> to be go, fine. <laughs> okay. Get back here. Around. How's the... How's the uh, vertical garden going? Vertical garden's awesome. Mom wow. just cut that. Hey, your oh, backyard is just the most amazing. Mom cut the hugest today. amount oh, look of it, stuff on the ground. Out of that. Go down, you'll see my. <laughs> or her <Wow>. cuttings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a thief left. The fridge is full of lettuce. Yeah, I I'm saw so that. I'm so excited for my dinner tonight. What are you making? A big salad. Oh, a Naturally. big salad. Your mom's a big salad. And stay out of there, Max. <laughs> there might be things I don't want you to eat, like the chocolate macaroons. <laughs> the so so. I can't see. Shut up. What are you guys talking about over there? I, I'm inside now. I'm oh, giving up on <laughs> your nonsense. <laughs> All right. I know you didn't direct oh, yes, the wait, show wait, wait, wait. or anything. Oh, hey, God. everybody. I got an idea. I'd like to cook something. Anybody want to join me? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go.
Iris are up. Steve wasn't ready, and his headphone is on his cheek. Because <laughs> it got caught. You weren't. Lynn will go. Lynn will help you. Jeez. Okay, does it like? Is, we're gonna be okay, folks. We're gonna be okay. Ah, oh, shit. Where are those little glass bowls? You know, I like. There's a certain little bowl that I like to use. The little clear ones. Yeah, the small ones. So I'll use this. It'll be fine. So here's what I'm doing. I'm doing something called uh, chili grilled chicken. Is that what it is? Chili rubbed. Chili rubbed chicken and grilled avocados. Which I think if you think about it, grilled or hot avocados sound bad. This is actually very good. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take equal amounts of like brown sugar. Here, about equal amounts. And uh, chili powder. Does that look right, Steve? Does that look like the same amount? Maybe I need a little bit more of that. And then we're gonna mix this with some olive oil to basically make like a paste. That's all it is? That's all it is, yeah, there's wow. three, three ingredients here. That's what we do on the same live That's cast. what we do. Well, you know, I know I've said this before, but I've, I've talked about the recipes and looking at them on the website. Mm -hmm. It blows my mind, the food that we have covered on this show. I know. And how easy everything is. Yeah, and Lynn's a pretty decent photographer, so a good I photographer. guess it works out all right. Decent. It does. <laughs> decent. Okay, so here's what I've got. Like, you can do this with, I have chicken thighs here. You could certainly do it with um, chicken breasts, but the key with breasts is you got to make them the same thickness. I put them in a Ziploc bag. I pound them to the even th to the same thickness. It's hey, difficult. Hey, speaking of the website, really quickly. Yeah. Sorry, I totally just interrupted you. That's okay. Um, Gnocchi alla sarda. It was so good. That's that was the last episode. Go and check that one out, people. If you missed it, it was unreal. No, you're you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. That that gnocchi was. Uh, that was, was one of the best I've ever had. It was really good, and it was a. Uh, it was a viewer uh, recipe that I did on, on Sam the Cooking Guy. Yeah, and how insanely simple is it? It's like right. four ingredients. Right, it was super good. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is I'm just spreading. And you could do this in advance of guests coming over if you wanted. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is just spreading this on here, on the chicken thighs. We haven't grilled in a while. We haven't grilled in a while. But the weather, you know, we're now coming back to good weather, so... Except so we now always, we want to. We're always dealing with this May gray, June gloom here. Ugh, the, today, Sucks. today was perfect for me. Seriously, I love this crap weather. <laughs> I love it when it's gray outside and not hot. When it starts to get hot and steamy, that's. I mean, Sandy doesn't really get steamy, but this is when I really dig it. Does it remind you of Vancouver? I think in some ways it does. Yeah, absolutely it reminds me of that Vancouver weather. Nah, Van you know what? There's no rain. You need rain to have the Vancouver uh, feel. Oh, that's true. Honestly. And where the sky feels like it's the ceiling in your house, like just above your head. <laughs> All right. So you see what I've done? Look, I mean, it's just super easy. Brown sugar and chili powder. I'd say you could use chipotle chili powder, but the last time I used it, I just blew the roof of my mouth off because it was so... It gets... It's so hot. The chipotle part of that whole thing is insane. All right, so we're good. Mix my hands. Little soap. Little okay, so uh, while we're waiting, bacteria laden soap. Yeah. Hey, Lynn, do you have that picture of uh, that girl? No, wait. I've got a picture that I want to show oh, yeah. first. Sorry. Okay. So. Right before we started the live cast tonight, I was just messing around taking a picture of Lucky. Oh. And this is what I came up with. And for those that know, Can I see you? I, yeah, for those that know, I say I have the saying, you can't tell if it's Lucky's face or ass a lot of the time when he's laying down. <laughs> so I took this picture and 
I want everybody to maybe write it on Facebook or put it on Twitter, wherever you say. What do you think of this is? The head? Is this Lucky's face or is it his ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it up for like another four I'm, seconds. And wait, you is know it what? face <laughs> or ass? That's funny. I'm not even sure and I'm going to vote on what I think it is. That's Face funny. or ass, people. That's Face ass. or ass. Should we post See, it to Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Lynn's you actually... think it's an ear? Hey, I think it's an ear. Okay, what we're is gonna the have, ear in listen, that? Listen, we're going to have Lynn post the picture to Facebook, and then you can just put face or ass face in the or comment ass. line. Hey, face Lynn, or ass. and say uh, to watch live by the end of the show, you'll see what the mm-hmm. answer is. <laughs> Look at everybody. Yeah. So we do end show, ass, we do tomorrow ass, show. Ass. That is funny. That is ass. My vote is ass. We've had a couple of faces, and everybody writes ass. Can we go outside? So look what we've got. We've got the chicken here, right? Wow. The grill now. Wait, wait till it's cooked. I think you'll like it better when it's cooked. I mean, I would like the grill a little hotter. Hey, is Steve all good with his cords? But I'm going to go with this. Can you you go real quick? He says he's really tangled up. Okay, Uh, I made some chicken a couple times in in the past week or so. Fire. And I forgot to use, uh, like, the PAM, the spray. And the shit sticked, and I was pissed off. Yeah. So you, you especially want to use it with chicken, right? Yeah, chicken is... is fish? Certain kind of fish? Or all fish? I've had sticky fish, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, beef, well, thanks for the smoke warning. Beef, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. There's a, a bit of a smoke warning. But look, now it goes away. And we're fine. Okay, so now we're just going to take these guys, mm-hmm. and they're going on here. Look at the... They look how beautiful they look, actually. Yeah, it's already looking so amazing. Oh yeah. Chili powder yeah. on yeah. everything. Look on the screen there. Yeah. Chili powder. Wow. Chili powder, brown sugar, right? Yeah, chili powder on brown oil. sugar and oil. That's it. Who could come up with such an easy? Oh me, I guess. <laughs> oh, this isn't a user. Uh, no, this is all me. Oh nice. You know, I shot this. We have friends that live. Kelly, where do Greg and uh, and Vanji live? Escondido. Escondido, and uh, he's a, an avocado farmer. Oh, we gotta go back inside wow, and deal with the avocados. No way. Uh, he's an avocado farmer, and we shot a show there, and I did things with avocados, like I'm gonna do with this in a minute. But what's really cool is how gorgeous it was, and I did this on their back deck, and it was really just like amazing freaking beauty. All right, let's shut this, come back inside. Let me start to prep this. Do you have that picture of, the, of Natasha? Lynn? You can cruise in, Steve. You're good. So we all know that Fixtures Living is a sponsor of the show. and We adore mm-hmm. them. And last Thursday's show, I said, hey, tomorrow I will be at Fixtures Living for the, uh, the um, Patio Nation events. Don't mind. And I'll tell you what, if anybody comes and says the green geese fly at night, mm-hmm. I will give them a copy of Sam the Cooking Guy just cooked this. Signed? And? Of course. And Natasha, where's Na- Natasha's picture? There she is. Came and did it? <laughs> Natasha walked up and I was yeah, sitting no talking way. with Maria and I saw Natasha standing near and this, we finished talking and she walked up and she said, I don't want to bother you. And I said, no, no, that's okay. Uh, what's up? We have and a she goes, that, by the way. Sorry? When they're creeping. We haven't talked about that? No, I said we have a term for that. Oh, creeping. It's creeping. <laughs> she was creeping on you. She was creeping a I'm little bit. I'm joking. No, no, it was all good. <laughs> and she goes like this. I go, sure, what's up? She goes, um. <laughs> she looks around all nervous and I'm like, wow, what the hell is this chick going to say? And she goes, the green geese fly at night. And I go, oh my God, I love you so much for that. That was so, I couldn't Uh, have a happier minute there. And I signed this, not this one, this is mine. Look at, see what's in there? That is so cool. See what that says? Our first copy. Our first copy. I've written that in all three first copies that I've gotten. Nice. It's great. That's really cool. Thanks. Yeah, it was really cool. Natasha, Natasha. thank you. So when I say I'm going to be there and I'll give you cookbooks if you come up, it's Come true. on, because I'm there and I'm up He's not messing. playing games. All right, so the avocado part of this is, is very simple. I think we all know how to cut an avocado, right? Mm-hmm. Sort of right down the center. Hello? Oh, the lucky picture is so cute. You split. Oh, is it up? There you go. <laughs> Too nice. 
No, pay no attention to the fact that I'm over here fucking cooking. <laughs> no. And you're over there talking about the dog that was done about 10 minutes ago. No, I just said. If okay. there's anybody that doesn't know, we're live cooking. Fully live. Thank you. Okay. As we'll see. Here's the avocado thing again, right? Straight up and down. The knife goes in the top, right down to you hit the pit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't go any further than this. Mm -hmm. And then you just follow the knife. The knife follows the pit all the way around. Boom. Easy enough. It comes back, and that's what you get. Perfect. Mm. And then if you take your knife, stab it in a little bit, and turn it, out comes the uh, pit. And then to get all this goodness out, we're going to wow. do this. I love how you act so casual when you do that, except I'm guessing you cut yourself dozens of <laughs> times doing I've it. I've cut myself <laughs> dozens of times, but not. this is a pretty simple procedure well we all know what you can do with simple procedures so oh, that's really cute thank <laughs> you oldest you son okay and then to get the avocado out down here on this nice and close i wait for oh okay there's a second camera there there we go nice and close right here like this goes in right by the rind between the like the outside and the inside follow that around and there you go beautiful avocado half that you could do anything you wanted with you could cut it nice and thin you could mash it up, put it in a bowl. Put it in the ceviche. Put it in the ceviche that we made the other day that we still have in the fridge. We've not done that on this show, but okay. But there you go. That's it. So now I'm going to just cut these guys in half. Grilled avocado. I've never seen this. Yes. Oh, it's fantastic. i got to put them on a plate. And so the Chicken's grill. Chicken's burning now. Chicken's burning? I don't know. Don't you think? Oh, God. Oh, shit. There's a lot of smoke. Uh -oh. oh, no. Let's see how we look. Oh, please don't be burned. Oh, it's yeah. looking beautiful, man. <laughs> oh, they look good. Lucky just got, just about got strangled in the cord. <laughs> <laughs> How's it smell, Steve? Yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta get these. It's a little smoky out there. Uh, I gotta get these avocados working though. Oops. So here's all they're gonna all right. get. We're gonna put them on here. Nice. So like little wedges. Little wedges, right? Little orange slices, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> right. oh yum. Here's that what they're is gonna a get. Perfect avo. Yeah, here's what is. they get. I picked these out myself today. Olive oil. Mm. And then oh. some down on the <laughs> back side pick. because I want the bo I want the bottoms to get some. You always get first pick. Only on the things I really want. Yeah, she doesn't come up very often. And then I'm gonna salt these guys a little bit. <laughs> Steve's noises are great. And believe me, I think the idea of hot avocado just doesn't sound that good to me. Am I right? It doesn't. Does it sound kind of awful? Grilled avo? But like a fried No, avocado here's the deal. Grilled avo. Oh, that's quite nice. But hot. it's grilled avo that's hot avo. That sounds bad to me. It does sound a little weird. Okay, so out we go. Here we go, Lynn. Lynn's here with the camera. Ready, Lynn? Uh oh, Steve's in his way. Oh, I'm in the way. Lynn's in what? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just going to take the chicken and push it to the back a little bit. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to take these guys, and I'm going to put them down. Wow. If we only knew. This is unreal. What's going on here? So Honestly. quickly, are those going to go fast? I'm they're going to go pretty quick, but the chicken's almost done on that second side. Seems like they're going to melt. No, they're not going to melt. That's what I was thinking. The soft uh -huh. texture was going to be too weak. Right? Yeah. Just calm down, everybody. <laughs> Oh. Oh. You okay there, buddy? Yeah. Any other preparations? No, that's it. That's it. We just have to eat. So don't forget, fixtureslivingcom San Diego, Costa Mesa, Rancho Mirage. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they say. I have that sticker on the back of my car. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. It's an amazing place for anything kitchen, Mm -hmm. Anything bath, anything outdoor. And go like them on Facebook. Go like them on, go Facebook. Like them on Facebook. Go there on Facebook and go, we love you guys, and we love Sam the Cooking Guy live cast. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, Are we just waiting this? for Alva? 
Oh, hey, buddy. He's got an itch. Well, that's what is a Bucci? That's a face. No, he's got an itch. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Why? You well, have an everybody itch. Everybody has different reactions. That is hilarious. <laughs> Why you would know that what? be? Because when I see a dog itch, I think of fleas. Then it's like, ew. I don't. I just think I of an itchy of an dog. Itch. You ever always. have an itch? No, like I love you. Come here. That's so man. mean of you. He's my little let man. me get Come let on. me get a plate that looks Come nice on. to put all this stuff on. All right, what else do we have to talk about tonight? We don't have a lot. I mean, we do have a lot, but we'll save a bunch of it for tomorrow night. I like being here. Hey, what were those dates for New York? Somebody, some people were asking. Yeah, by the way, so here's the deal. We go to New York, uh, June, 4th is, June 4th is a Monday. That's when I'm on the Today Show. So third, second, we're either going the first or second. We shoot in New York, like the Sunday, Monday, Part of Tuesday, then we're, we're driving or training to Boston, and then we're doing Boston. Oh boy, sorry. And I don't know anything about Boston. But, uh, Don Smith. Yeah, and remember we were supposed to go for our 25th anniversary, and we never took the trip. That's so sad if I don't come, and you go. Honey. <laughs> Look at Don't air our dirty laundry. Wow. Is that what you're telling me? Holy shit. So see that? So here's what we're going to do. Now we turn them back onto this uh, this other side. I oh want shit, that. that one. Uh-oh, I should have sprayed here. Shit. I want that. Don't worry, you can have some of this. Oh. I really I should have sprayed. That's that's what the See? I'm telling you, you know what? Don't feel like you're not a professional if you're not if you're using like this Pam use it it, it will make your outdoor grilling life so much freaking easier mm -hmm. it really will here's the chicken <laughs> do we think the chicken's done let's just take yeah, a little look in here Steve uh, look oh, the smoke is just killing me man oh it looks perfect Hold on. That's perfect. So, Dad, are you cooking these together because they work so well together, or you cook them together because what's really nice mm -hmm. is a bite of the chicken yeah. with a bite of the avo. Oh yeah. Because the avo is a little, you know, um, buttery and kind of rich. Mm -hmm. And what is nice is to take this semi-spicy but also a little bit sweet chicken and add that buttery richness to it. God, holy shit. You got some salt in your hair, by the way. Some salt? Or is it just gray hair? <laughs> I actually have actual it's salt in my no, hair. No, it's, it's salt on your right side. There you go. Keep doing it. How do I have salt in my hair? I don't know. When you did the pinch of salt? and I didn't pinch into my oh, hair. Oh, you two are hilarious. I pinched into my hair. <laughs> <laughs> just looking out for you. Appreciate that, dude. I want to know how how uh, the ass versus face <laughs> question oh God, is going. Oh, God, Lucky is going down hard on this one. <laughs> Everybody sees his nose sneaking through. I know. Somebody was like, that's not a nose. It's an anal gland. Yeah. You know what? It's oh, a what? He was just gland? watching the TV. I was going to say, put the picture up and see if he recognizes just his No, why head. do we have to oh do that? God. That's, uh, God, the dog. We need him barking? Look, this is such a cute little picture. I don't know if you can see the TV, Dad, but... This is a I'm somebody looking. watching the live cast with their little baby on the laptop. Oh, oh that's <laughs> cute. That All great? right, so here we go. Let's just take these guys off, and we'll go inside, right? Let's do it. Look at. Oh, we got a double team going on out we there. Got we got a video avocado. camera oh, and a real broke camera. That shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh God, it's just super hot, man. I'm having a hard time here, Steve. I'm what off to the say? side. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, go in, Steve. Steve, go in, go in. You go first. Me first? Sure. What are we looking at? I don't know. We're looking at now no, nothing and now me coming in. So here's what we want to do. Before this, let me talk about Donovan's Steak and Chop House, Donovan's Prime Seafood. If you haven't been there, you have to. If you come to San Diego, if you even come to visit for a few minutes, Donovan's is San Diego. Donovan's is steak and chops. Yep. And now 
remarkably seafood. Mm. Hell yeah. And it's right in the middle of the best, one of the best parts of San Diego. You gotta go down to the gas lamp. Go down to the gas lamp, right. Both, they have a steak and chop house and prime seafood in San Diego. Donovan's Steak and Chop House, uh, donovans.com is there. You can go, you can check it out, you can see what it is, but forget taking our word for it. Just go there mm -hmm. and do it for yourself. There is nothing like a steakhouse. There isn't. A steakhouse is a world unto its own. There should be categories for restaurants, ratings for restaurants and ratings for steakhouses mm -hmm. because steakhouses, yeah, you're right. many of them do things very differently and Donovan's is one of them. Mm -hmm. Trust me, not all steakhouses are created equally. So to cut to Facebook really quickly. Yes. That right there is Lucky's face. <laughs> Wait, what? How is that possible? That's not the fur on his ass. <laughs> It's, I took the face, I took the hair on his head and I combed it all down in oh, front of his it. face. He's looking at it right now. Wait. Oh, Steve, no. can you get him? He's about to bark. Watch this. Hold on. Go to him, Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. <laughs> all right, forget no, that. He actually recognized his messy head. <laughs> oh, all right. I love you, Lucky. So here we are. Anyway, Donovan's in San Diego and in Phoenix. Go there. Say, you just want amazing food, and they'll say, no problem. Sit at this table, order anything, and you're going to be happy. And Mother's Day's coming up, and if you don't have reservations soon, I'm sorry, you're just not going to get them. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. There's smoke on my glasses. Look at this, still steaming, Steve. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum. So wait, just let me read this. It was uh, viewer recipe week, and this came from the deep fat fryer who said, make something non-seafood that works cooking a single serving. You could have one thigh, one chicken breast, and a couple avocado pieces, no problem. My doctor is requesting that I discontinue cooking intimate dinners for four, since I am always the only person attending. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the deep fat fryer. <laughs> and if you can find his picture, it's not the deep fat fryer like you cook french fries in. It's deep fat fryer as in like a monk. <laughs> that. All right. Oh, Whatever. I get it. <laughs> Here's some chicken. I'll put a piece of this here. And I'll take this avocado. And I'll put it here. And my goal is a little bit of each, wow. right? So just let me taste. I'm curious what's going to be the most overwhelming flavor from that oh, chicken. I just know how good this so is going to be. Mm. Ooh. Let me tell you, it's chili powder, but it's got the brown sugar sweetness. There's three ingredients on this chicken. Sorry, four. The chicken, brown sugar, the chili powder, and olive oil, and that's it. I don't really even count olive oil as an ingredient. It's a staple. Like I don't count salt or pepper. Here's the perfect bite. That's what you want. You want some chicken and you want some of that grilled mm -hmm. avocado. Don't any, let anybody tell you that. Oh my God. Okay. We did this in 15 minutes, really? Mm -hmm. Who says dinner takes a long time? It doesn't. This is what you need to do. All right, thanks for being here. We love you. You're part of our family. People say that to us all the time on Facebook and in emails. We feel like you're part of our family. You guys are part of our family. And I'm not just making that shit up to make you feel good. I'm not kissing your ass like Steve does when he responds in emails to people that are above him in the company with the exclamation point. <laughs> There's no exclamation point on this. I mean this from my heart, not from my exclamation point. Whatever. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. All right. See you tomorrow night. Hey, wait. Thank oh, yeah, wait. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. What? Okay, forget it. Forget what? What were you hey waiting okay. for? Okay. Thanks for being here. Mother's Day. Reservations. Donovan's. Go to fixtureslivingcom Check them out. Say, we told you to go there. Goodbye. I'm eating all of this.